Yoto dump site has the dubious distinction of being the largest landfill in Nakuru County, but it's also home to more than 200 families who live off the dump site. NTV's Bridget Sungana visited the dump and documents the struggles of those families, but also the stories of hope for a generation that now has a chance at a future away from the mark through education. Their faces beam with happiness and satisfaction as they welcomed us to their class. This is the nursery wing of the Maisha Mapia Learning Center. Just meters off Nakuru's main dump site, Giyoto. Within these walls, children, most of whom come from the dump and its environs, get a shot at life through education. And at least in the time they are here, they are assured of a meal and a snack. But after school, reality kicks in. Alvin and Gideon, who are among the children slaking their thirst for an education in this school, have to make their way back to the threadbare structures that make up their homes in the festering rubbish of the Kyoto dump site. Alvin, who is five, is just a few days old at the school. That is why he doesn't have a school uniform yet. His mother has just come in from the dump where she spent most of the day gathering and sorting material that others have thrown away, which she will later on sell to recyclers. It is a tough job, but trapped in an escapable cycle of poverty, they have few prospects. <laughs> Dorcas Wanjiru, Gideon's mother, explains to us the risk that children born within the dump and its environs face from an early age. Theirs is a battle for survival, a life lived on the fringes of the society, and education has been the least of their concerns until recently. <laughs> More than a hundred school-going children from Giotto have found solace here at Maisha Mapia Learning Center. The brainchild of American missionaries whose holiday trip turned into a passion to help change the future of the children of Giotto. We began to uh, do feeding programs for the whole neighborhood, all the kids that were under 10, and we found out that our facility here could actually hold 350 people, 350 children. And... Uh, and that got us to thinking, can we do more than just be a school with 75 kids? We named the school Maisha Mafia. Yes, we wanted to, to have it be a name in a language that the people here understood and that it's new life for, um, for the students as they're growing. It's new life in Christ. Um, it's new life because this whole project was a new thing. True to its name, this school is a new breath of hope for a better life for the families living here. For their parents, it is a hope that they can now get ripe opportunities for the raw ingredients that life has offered. I had a university. The difficult thing is they leave this wonderful surrounding where they have love and food and, and a clean place to play and they end up returning home to the circumstances that are there. Um, and so we were thinking, how can we make it better? So now we're making an effort to make the home life better. We have to help the moms in that community. We have to help the environment in that community. Um, we have to bring hope and love uh, and light to the whole community. And that's actually what the, the mission of, 
uh, Hilton's Heroes is? Most of the children who are learning here at Maisha Mapia come from the adjacent dump site here in Nakuru County and also some of the informal settlements around this area. The name Maisha Mapia signifies a new beginning and they do hope that by these children coming here, they are in fact setting the foundation of a better life in future. Bridget's Ghana, NTV, Nakuru County.